Well, you may find this hard to believe, but last week I was on a family vacation up to Alaska, cruising the Inside Passage, and we came to Skagway, Alaska in southeastern Alaska, and on a trip on the White Pass Yukon Railway through British Columbia, up into the Yukon Territory, I came across a Japanese garden. Yes, it is true. So how is that possible, you may ask? Well, stay tuned. You're about to find out. So, a big question, does art replicate nature or does nature replicate art? Well, the answer should be obvious. Obviously, nature was here long before humans and their art. And the gardens that we often create replicate what we see in the creation in the natural world around us. And the Chinese and the Japanese have been doing this for thousands of years. And it is reflected in their gardens. As anyone who has uh, watched any of the videos on this channel well knows, I am particularly fond of Japanese gardens. Why? Because I live in the Pacific Northwest of North America and we have a lot of rugged country here in the mountains and along the sea coasts and I've spent a lot of time in the mountains and along the coastal areas and it is a style of gardening and landscaping that I like I call it God's style of gardening and I guess the Chinese and the Japanese must have had similar sentiments because well their gardens reflect nature as well. So as I'm riding along with my family in the White Pass Yukon Railway that was built in 1898 to about 1900, and we're passing from Skagway, Alaska, up through northwestern British Columbia into the Yukon Territory, and we're passing through the mountains at the timberline level. You can see the snow in the background, and we're at about the 3,000 foot level. And as I'm looking out the window with, window with the, the clackety-clack of, the, of this vintage train um, noise in the background, I'm looking out and I'm seeing a Japanese garden. But no, I'm not seeing a Japanese garden. I'm seeing what Japanese gardens are patterned after. The rocks, the trees, the bonsai, the lakes, the ponds, the rivers, the streams. And I'm looking at, thinking in my mind as we're traveling along, I have seen many Japanese gardens that look just like this, or very similar with the small trees, the bonsai, the naturally occurring um, bonsai pine trees and the ponds and the rocks, all the fundamental elements of a Japanese garden. But this is all in nature mile after mile after mile. Yes, I was delighted. I grabbed my camera and went out and once we got off the train, we walked around and I'm like, this is a Japanese garden, but no, it's God's garden. The Japanese just took their pattern from the grand architect, the designer, and now we have Japanese gardens all over the world, including my own backyard. Yes, this was a special surprise and a treat. Thank you for letting me share this with you and please enjoy. <laughs> 